In this video, we'll go through the Araya Creative Studio. To access the Creative Studio, click on the Now Playing link to edit the content directly. You can also go to Content and then Presentations and click the Edit button to one of your presentations. Click Edit on a presentation and you will be brought to the Creative Studio. On the left, you'll find a list of the different pages within your presentation. On the right, you'll see the content running as if it was being viewed on the screen. When you move your mouse over different items, you'll see that they highlight and you can click on them. Across the top is the main toolbar for working with content and the presentation itself. The main toolbar has things like New Presentation, Loading a Presentation, Saving, the Presentation Settings, Adding Pages, Duplicating Pages, and Changing Page Settings, as well as the widget menu where you can add content to the pages. This includes items like text, images and video, shapes, as well as the different widget options. In the top right hand corner, you will see the green Push Live button. To push your content live, click the Push Live button and it will be instantly pushed out to any channels where the content is scheduled. You also have options to save a draft, or you can save your content as a template. To exit the Creative Studio, you can click the red Close button in the top right hand corner. Across the bottom, we have the toolbar for working with the widgets. When a widget is selected, you can do things like deleting, rotating, changing the style, positioning the item, changing the layering, options for cut, copy and paste, an option to copy and paste the style to another widget, undo and redo, zoom, a menu to get to your different pages, as well as options for help and settings for the Creative Studio itself. To work with a widget, select it by clicking on it and the border will change to red. You'll notice that there are handles on the corner for resizing the item, and if you click and drag the widget, you can move it around. In addition, a toolbar appears below the widget. Depending on the widget, you may see different items on this toolbar. Click Delete to delete the widget. Click the Style button to access the Style dialog. This is where you set things like the color, transparency, size, text, borders, shadows, filters, and rotation. To change the settings on the widget, click the Settings button on the Widget toolbar. This will display the Settings dialog where you can modify the widget settings. On a weather widget, for example, we'll see options for the location, Fahrenheit or Celsius, and settings for the forecast and current conditions. As you can see, each widget can be moved, styled, and settings can be updated independently of the other widgets on the page. To style a widget, select the widget and click the Style button on the Widgets toolbar. We can then go to the Text tab, Choose font color, and we'll see a color picker. All of the color pickers in the Araya Creative Studio have options for transparency as well as the color itself. You can see that as we change the color here in the dialog, the text color on the widget will change as well. If we want to make the text transparent, we can use the transparency slider on the right hand side. To change the settings on the widget, select the widget. Click the Settings button and we'll be greeted with the same form that we saw when we first created the widget. When we click OK, the widget will update with the new settings. To add additional widgets to the page, you can click the widget menu at the top. Select the widget you would like to add, adjust the default settings, and click OK to add the new widget. From there, the new widget is added to the canvas and you can move it around and style it. If we would like to delete a widget, simply select it and click the Delete button. You'll be asked if you want to delete the widget. You can also use the Delete key on your keyboard when one or more widgets are selected. Along the left we have Pages. 
This example presentation is a non-interactive presentation, so these pages will automatically advance over time. The bottom right-hand corner of each page displays the duration of each page. In this case, 6 seconds, 8 seconds, 18 seconds, and 12 seconds. Configure the individual page settings by selecting the page, and then click the Page Settings button on the top toolbar. You can change the name of the page, the theme options for the page, like the background and text color and font, as well as the timing and transition options for that page. This is where you would change the display time to make a display longer or shorter. Pages can be rearranged by dragging and dropping them. If you need to create a new page, the Add Page button creates a new blank page. Use the Duplicate Current Page button if you would like to duplicate an existing page. This will make a copy of the active page. Araya also supports interactive content. Any presentation can be interactive simply by changing it from a non-interactive presentation to an interactive presentation and adding touch points to navigate the content. To do this, we go to the Presentation Settings button and turn on Interactive. We now have a new item in our Content Toolbar at the top that says Touch. Additionally, there is no longer a time listed on the lower right-hand corner of each page. In an interactive presentation, timing is controlled by the user navigating the content. Content will always go back to the first page when no one is using it. To add a touch point, click Touch. Choose the presentation and page that you would like the touch point to go to and click OK. This creates a touch widget that you can then style and move. From there, you can also click the link on the widget to follow that button to the next page. This allows you to step through your interactive as if you were navigating it live on a touch screen. Inside of the Creative Studio, we also have options for layering and transparency. You'll notice this logo has a transparent background and it's on top of the video playing behind it. Access layers through the Layers menu on the lower toolbar, and you have options for moving the current item up or down, as well as a dialog that will show you all of the current layers and controls to hide or show different layers as well as locking them. You can also rearrange layers in the dialog by clicking and dragging them. The Creative Studio also supports multiple selection. If you're working with a number of widgets and would like to select them all at once, you can select the first one, hold down the Shift key, and continue selecting other widgets. This allows you to do things like deleting, moving, copying, and pasting multiple widgets at a time. This concludes the overview of the Araya Creative Studio interface. In the other videos, we will dive into the specific functions within the Creative Studio. Remember, anytime you're done making changes to content, you want to click the green Push Live button to make the changes live. If you have unsaved changes and you exit the studio, you'll be asked if you would like to make the changes live or save a draft.